Welcome, welcome everyone to Chespa's TV episode 334. Today is February 18th, 2017. We are playing... Well, okay, so the name is not very good. In fact, it's a super awful name. You can tell because I named it Hetero Chess. What? Okay, so I won't explain where I came up with that. Hopefully you can come to your own conclusions. Otherwise, just forget about it. The rules are like this. Pieces of the same type cannot attack well they cannot capture each other i suppose they can attack each other like i'm attacking you right but you can't capture so it's kind of a vague threat of attack so a knight cannot capture a knight but it can capture anything else this means that standard chess opening e4 e5 knight f3 knight c6 beans the pawn is not defended knight takes e5 and there's nothing black can do hope you follow that if you didn't that's fine too so let's try a game like this just see how it goes i have no idea what kind of impact that's going to have on the game but i'm excited to find out Standard, let's make it rated because I'm a kook. Throw this challenge in the chat. Which viewer is going to risk their reputation and rating? Testing, 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 testing. Got to get the right volume here. On this weird variant. It's a rated game against Turkey Turkey. I guess I'm the one risking my rating. Okay, I had to say that the rule doesn't apply to kings because Le Chess, this website, will not allow you to move your king next to the opponent's king. It would be nice if you could, and then, you know, the, the king is like the king, so it can't take it. But uh, I'm going to play this because he's not allowed to take me. Pawns cannot take pawns. But since Le Chess keeps our kings at an arm's reach, arm's length away, uh, it's not doable. I'm a little concerned about this actually, because so I, I I like to play here. He goes here. All of a sudden, he's got two attackers. Let's try it. How bad can it be? Mm. We're gonna find out how bad this is. How bad it is to just leave pawns hanging like this. I have a feeling it's bad, but just in case it's not, I'm ready. Is he gonna play e5? I'll try this <laughs> against knight. C3, I can ignore it because knight can't take knight. Bishop could take knight, though. Mm -hmm. I will let that happen. I probably should play here, but, you know, it doesn't make a difference because bishop can't take bishop. So, yeah, nothing much is happening here. It's a pretty simple game so far. Very, very simple, normal game of chess. He certainly doesn't want to take me now when the pawn captures back. It's attacking a pin piece. If he could take with bishop, I take him, and then he takes my pawn. He ends up ahead of pawn. Well, that's no good. Oh, yeah. Okay, maybe that's the world's stupidest move, but I feel kind of brilliant playing that move. He's not allowed to capture for two reasons. The first is I'd destroy his queen with my queen destroyer. That would be this piece. Um, but also, knight can't take knight. So let's just uh, take, take, take. Nothing nothing good. Right, nothing good. Ah, I guess this isn't as clever as I thought. The knight's just floating out here in danger zone. Yeah, what am I doing? This knight was not brilliant. I mean, it's cool that it can sit there without being utterly awful, but it's still awful. I mean, it's like still 90% awful. This kind of position for a knight is utterly awful in most chess variants. For example, that chess, chess one where you try to checkmate the opponent, it's pretty bad in that variant. He could have just played h4 and trapped it. There's nowhere it could go. Um, but, but this is kind of interesting. He's got this check, which is probably fun for him pawns can't take pawns but this pawn is guarding all this I'll run this direction this is definitely interesting i've got an open file i'm going to just reorient myself over here to the king side it's gonna be pretty fun all right i feel short i think i should entollen myself oh i can't get any taller do this there we go that's better now I feel taller. I had a commenter on my YouTube channel say, Hey, I like your new setup, but could you please... I'm going to add this guy some time, Turkey Turkey, because he's left the universe, see this gray dot. So that would mean he's no longer at the board, which is kind of sad. I had a commenter say that, I love your new setup where you're like as big as the screen, but unfortunately, I can't see what's in the corner now that your elbow is covering it. So... I think that's a strength for me, so I'm going to keep covering that so that he can't tell. Uh, I 
unfortunately, this might be the end. If Turkey Turkey doesn't come back, I'm going to have to let him run out of time. I feel like I kind of like my position. Obviously, his position's better. His king is safe. My king is in danger. Everything else is equal. But I kind of like it because I can set up this attack. Let's give him one more chance here. And um, I'm obviously not going to take that pawn. But if bishop here, I'm going to play rook up, queen back here like this, and maybe build up some pressure with the sudden advance of this pawn. Pawns can't take pawns, so never mind. I guess I'll claim a victory. That's too bad, Turkey Turkey. I guess you lost internet in Turkey Turkey. Well, let's find a new opponent. We got to play an opening, but not much of a middle game or end game. That was a disappointment for me. I hope you're equally disappointed. Something that's true of most humans is that when they feel a certain way, they want everyone around them to feel that way, even if it's awful. For example, I was pretty disappointed we didn't get to finish that game. So I have an innate desire to make sure that all of you are disappointed. It's not always logical. Got a challenge here from Gusef. That's pretty cool. But he does, he wants to play casual. Gusef, why would you want to play casual? What a waste of time. Hey, Crepuscular, are you sure you want to agree to these rules here? Because I don't want to not. I think he does. I think he does based on B4. Probably true. What's he doing? If I play knight out, he plays B5. Let's do this. Knight can't defend. Because knights are no good defending against knights, I can still take. Let's let's kick this pig. I like my loud keyboard. All right. He's stymied right now. He's really stymied. Have you ever gotten into an argument and suddenly you realize that it's a funny argument? This happened to me the other day. And I just started laughing, like, Rawr! and then I just started laughing. It's very awkward because the person I was arguing with didn't realize or think that it was funny. So they thought like I was laughing at them or something. Um, but when I see people get angry, sometimes I just find that to be a very humorous event. And so I laugh and that's kind of awkward. I think that's one of my biggest weaknesses is laughing. Yeah. It's also a strength though. Yeah. Yeah. It's some of each. Okay, so this is going to be pretty clever. Check it out. Bishop cannot take bishop, so he has to mess up his pawns. I feel clever about that. Maybe it wasn't clever, but I feel clever. So he's got one, two, three, four. This is his fourth pawn island against my zero. So this is, yeah, and I'm up a pawn. This is fantastic for me. Oh, this is just great. All I just need to do is trade down. Just win this game. Develop the rest of my pieces here. I think castling over here is just fine. I mean, he does have the open file. If he castles queenside, though, I might just rethink everything. It's very hard to get open files in this game because pawns can't take pawns. Hmm. So there can be no trades. I'll play this. <laughs> oh no! That was super stupid. I thought it was smart, but it actually was stupid. Error in brain. What about this move? Bishop can't take bishop, and I'm pinned here, losing my... No, I'm not. Rooks can't take rooks. Oh, error in brain. Assessment of error. Now I feel good again. I feel great. Um, actually, if bishop takes knight, I can just take him back. Rook can't take rook. Oh, I feel smart now. What is he doing? With no possible pawn trades, this is weird, but look at that move. Oh, yeah, chess whiz, your mind is expanding. Queen cannot take queen. And now I'll just capture this way, although it's so tempting to show off that the rooks can't trade. Very tempting. But I'm not going to. Oh, yeah, I should, I should, because he could just take this pawn. My rook would be looking pretty stupid staring him in the face there. Let's play here, attacking this rook. I'm, I'm tempted to add him time because the poor guy's just getting demolished by my expanding brain. Look at that. Oh, no, he says to himself in French. Just keep taking stuff. Okay, should I worry? It's not really in my repertoire to worry. I'll castle. Seems safer over here now. 
than anywhere else. So you take nothing to worry about there. Let's do this. <laughs> My knight can is unopposed. There are no enemy knights for it to not take. Let's play here. Just because now I could discover check him, which is pretty fun. I love that. Um, let's play here. Because now this is fun. Oh, you're out of time, Crepuscular. Oh, you're out of time. I don't care to give you more because I'm owning you. If the game were interesting, like, I wonder who's going to win. And maybe I would add time so we could find out. But right now, there's no mystery. I took all your things. N.H. Blah is our next opponent. Let's make sure that he knows the rules. Sometimes I'm streaming and I'm, like, doing my thing. And then I get this challenge. And it turns out it's some nincompoop who doesn't actually know the rules. So I'm not going to move anything until he agrees to the rules. Because I've fallen for this trap several times. Do, 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 do. Reading the chat for a moment. Talking about en passant. This is very interesting. He says, okay, so I'm going to believe him for now. Let's play a double king pawn game. Knight of three is so strong because my knight can't per defend it. I don't think this is very smart for me. But I've never, like, prided myself in smart things. So now what, what can I do? I'll attack this way. <clears throat> So reading the chat, it says, push pawns with no fear. Um, I'm off to see the wizard. Maybe the wizard will give me a better brain to play chess. Probably not, but I appreciate the thought. This is cool. Yo, now I can take that. What about en passant? When you think about it, the pawn isn't taking the other pawn. It just moves, and the other pawn disappears. Like, I'm just taking this empty square. That's not your pawn. And then, oh, your pawn is gone. What a surprise. I didn't expect that. I was just moving to this empty square. Sorry, man. That was all basalt. That was a capture. So no, you cannot play pawn takes pawn e dot p dot in this variant. Let's see if this works. Can someone explain? Oh yeah, rook takes g7. So when I played rook g8 and I was like scared of this move, remember that, guys? I remember it because I was traumatized and I was like, I can't take this way and I can't take this way. It turns out an other different awesome move would have just been rook takes pawn here, only defended by my rook, uh, by this uh, yellow rook right here, and so that's really not defended by anything. And then, then he'd be threatening this, and he'd, of course he'd be threatening my weak pawn over here. Wow, I'm so glad nobody saw that except Crusader of Hope saw it, so I'm so glad I wasn't playing against him. That would have been painful. In normal circumstances, says another viewer, Let's just play back here and see what happens. We are all wizards. Wizards? W-H-I-Z. I should not have named myself Chess Wiz with the H. It was such a mistake. Such a mistake. It just looks like Cheese Wiz. It's awful. Can't change it now, though. Can't change it now. I try to be frank with you guys, but I can't because I'm Chess Wiz. Oh, that's so funny. So what do I do? Um, this can't take this. This is guarding this. Let's just move this up here so that I can hide if I get attacked again. Not much going on. I can't take here. This is pretty good defense. I mean, I don't want to take those. The rules don't help me in that situation. I could sacrifice. Okay, this, nothing happens. Pawns can't take pawns. I'll just castle. You're being weird. Everyone's weird. So sacrifice the knight. He takes back. Then sacrifice the bishop with check. Um, then I can take this knight. Okay, it's time for genius. Genius coming up, Nibla. This is my genius day. And then check. The knight is only defended by a piece which is emasculated. Think about it. It's true. See, look. It's just like flat down here. It's totally emasculated. Don't look up what that means. Just don't look it up. So now this guy's hanging. This is great. I don't want to lose the bishop. Though. Let's just let's just play it safe. <clears throat> Hello, Hashem. Cool name. I like it when you're watching. I really like it. 
I like it right now. In fact, I like it that all of you guys are watching. I'm just a liking kind of guy right now. If there were a thumbs up, I'd click it. This is an important move. Doesn't seem like much, but thanks for the queen. Yeah, I should take the queen. Uh, before the queen was guarding that rook, which was useless, he, he could actually take me, and my queen could not recapture because of the weird rules of this variant. So that was uh, an important, important little thing to get the queen out of the way so that the rooks would defend each other. But you're losing pretty bad now. Let's bring this here. It's devolving into chess, because I don't have things he doesn't have, basically. It's just the rooks that are restricted from rooks, and I guess pawns are still around. But other than that, it's just chess, and it's pretty good for me with all my extra things. <laughs> like I got, man, a lot of things here. Checkmate, Jimmy X. Checkmate, Jimmy. Oh, come on. Die already. There's a hands-free checkmate. Almost. GG. That was great. The brilliancy of that game was knight takes b4. The bishop could recapture with the check, forking the king, and the knight defended only by an emasculated bishop. I love that. I just loved it. Good game. So we have two opponents now, Xef and Hal 9K. I'm going to play with Hal 9K. is challenging me in Crazy House. You're a weirdo. That's no, similar to me, so not, not really an insult. Gusef is our next opponent. Let's paste the rules in this chat, make sure he's going to agree. This is a casual game, so that means it doesn't matter who wins. It's true that I'm being broadcast to the entire internet, which is about 4 billion people, but I don't care. That's not very many people. I'm being told in the chat now by Madun that I'm covering up that rook in the corner. Thank you so much, Madun. I appreciate that compliment. I totally am covering up that rook, and it's on purpose, because I don't want you to know if I have a rook there. My, my arm is so thin, because when I lift weights, it's in the future. If you know what I mean. <clears throat> so it's hard for me to cover it. I have to get my great big chest with shirt to be like, oh, okay, there's nothing there, nothing there, don't worry about it. I'm going to use the fact that I have nothing here to my advantage. Get out of here, bishop. I don't want to move that pawn and lose my queen. I don't really want to play here when he takes after the capture with pawn. How about that move? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's good. Castle queenside, pawn storm the guy. Open file is so valuable. You know how hard, it, how hard it is to get an open file in this chess variant? Neither do I, but I think it's hard. I'm pretty sure it's hard. I can now take that for free. Or just move there. Cause him to go slightly crazy because he can't capture me. <laughs> how you doing? Why don't you write in the comments of the video how you're doing? I'd like to know how you're doing. So that I can think to myself, hey, I'm doing better than that guy. That's pretty good. Yeah, it's not like that. Take to take, don't like that. I guess I'll just capture here. <clears throat> now. Let's do it. Pistachio. He asks me, did you say in one of your streams that you used Colmac? You got, he asked me to remember that. There's 334 streams. I have to remember all of them? That's such a difficult question. Uh, I guess I don't know if I said that or not. I want to attack him. He's going to castle queenside, and I don't want him to get away with such a lazy castling. Lazy. I'm going to play. <laughs> I'm going to do this and this and just self-destruct. Here we go. Game be a one first. Hmm, queen can't take queen. Queen can't take queen, that's interesting. I don't see a lot of amazing 
outcomes for me here. I'm just going to lose stuff till I beat him. It's not really working out. Nabil wants to know if he can play. Sure, Nabil. You have to challenge me. This website is Lichess. It's L I C H E S S dot O R G. You go there, then you click. Um, community at the top and then players and then type chess whiz very very hard to type chess whiz because there's all these imposters like chess whiz imposter and chess whiz cheese whiz there's these these crazy guys right so you have to find the real chess whiz i wanted to lose this pawn by the way this is my purpose in life just to lose this pawn and then you click the battle axes and that's or the swords or whatever it is that's that's the uh it's the way to challenge people i'm still winning this game don't doubt me I'm winning. And then the next thing you do is you click the green check mark. I'm making this part up. And then you click the yellow smiley face. And then your challenge speed. And then it's going to show up over here. You might notice uh, how annoyed I am that he took all my things. Pretty annoyed about that. And I have Pugachev, Hal Line K, Neblich, Neblich. Cool, you did it. And Rao Mora, whatever. All challenging me at once, so clearly I'm a populist person. Let's see what we can do with this. I have to confuse him somehow here. Queen cannot take queen. I'm only confusing myself. This is not good. Oh. I thought I was so smart with this move because his pawn, after he takes my queen, takes him. But the queen takes bishop. I've got a lot to learn about this variant. I totally self-destructed this game, but it was casual, so I don't care. So I need to find a rated game so that I don't self-destruct. Hal 9K, casual, nope. Nibli, casual, nope. Rao Morales, nope. Hash, chess, nope. I'm going to play this Russian guy because it seems like this would go quicker because he's going to rush. Pugachev, Ilya. Pugachev, that's definitely a Russian name. Oh, he's from North Korea. That means he's a liar. I'll make my move and then make sure he's playing by the rules. <clears throat> Let's make sure, make sure this is okay. So you guys need to challenge me. One plus four is the time control. As you can see this, one plus four up here. It's the secret password to playing with Chess Whiz. And it has to be rated because I don't want to waste my time playing unrated games. I'd rather cheat by playing rated hetero chess. Sounds like, sounds like a cheat to me. And the challenges are coming back. Nabli, he fixed the time control, but he left it on casual. What? You care about your rating? You infidel. Okay, so now if I take this, he has to take this pawn. Wow, that's amazing. This is stupid. It's too much like chess. I need to change the rules until it's like so confusing that nobody can figure out anything, and then then I'll have a chance. Because right now this is just like boring chess. <clears throat> confusing, confusing variant, I think. Maybe I should have taken with pawn. Not that it matters. It doesn't matter what you do in this variant. This is so weird. Uh... <laughs> See? See, it doesn't matter. I played a4 and I'm still alive. That's, that's how little it matters. So I shouldn't take that with that. I shouldn't take that with that. And because that's illegal. And this is can't take this. Wow. Maybe it matters. I just don't know what I'm doing. That's Pukachov. It's pretty good. This is a rated blitz game against someone who's close to me in rating. So this is a very important game, which is why I really focused when I played A4. It's really important to focus. Hmm. Now this has got to be a free pawn. I've got three attackers. He has two defenders. I'm going to take it. I can't take this way. So my choices are this way or this way. I think this will work. I 
Make this. I like this. He does have this discovery. Whoops. Something like that afterwards. So I guess I don't know anything. Why did he do that before? Why didn't he just take that in this position? That's weird. So now bishop takes. I have to take with pawn. No problems. I kind of like that. <laughs> Let's take advantage. Queens can't take queens. This is getting exciting. If he takes my queen, I'm going to be annoyed. Don't take me. Cheats are bad for your liver. It's a pretty good argument. Come on. Okay, so I have to take this with something. I'll use this. I like this. Got an open file now. Rook c7 would be a huge blunder. I could just take it. So it's very difficult for him to defend this pawn. Looks delicious. Next is this one. He could pick up a pawn with this check and then the bishop comes down here, but I don't see that as being terribly valuable. Okay, so he's going to play his rook here, I guess. I'll save that pawn. Not a lot to do here. Well, thanks for that one. And next I can eat this one. <laughs> oh, this makes me feel so good. I feel great, warm and fuzzy. Especially fuzzy. Okay, I have to play here now. I feel very fuzzy right now. Pugachov. What will happen? Happen. What will happen? I have to speak his language. Nice, you moved your knight many times. This is going to come down here. And we've got a pretty dangerous pass pawn. Should I push it? Oh, that would be terrible. He would just take it for free. Let's be clever here. Ah, uh, this pawn was free anyway. There's nothing guarding it but my queen, which can't defend against queens. So I have no idea what I'm doing. This protects it. Oh, man, this is this is stressful. Now I can take here, I think. No, I can't. Let's continue to attack it. <laughs> Four attackers on f7? That's a lot. So I take with bishop. He recaptures. The rooks just stare at each other like, what you want to do? I don't know. What you want to do? I don't know. What you want to do? Now, don't stop that again. It's like nothing happens. Knight can't take knight, but I could take this. So I'll start taking things. See what happens now. I can play this move. Oh, yeah. Chess whiz. Beating that Pukachov. And he resigns. A quick checkmate with rook takes h7. Queen g7 checkmate. Very good. I won that game basically by taking advantage of the fact that the rules are so weird that he just kept <coughs> blundering. Um, around the time my queen started visiting his queen like this, all of a sudden I just, you know, just ate him up that way. That's the only way I was able to win. We only have time for one more game. Our opponents, potential opponents are Nablich, Hash 12 Chess, Crepuscular, and Hal 9K. These guys are all such wonderful people. I really want to play all of them, except for Crepuscular, because I already did. So let's decline that one. Sorry the screen's so chopped up. Now it's not chopped up. Of course, you can't see anything, but yo, I just got a challenge from Achirao.
which is also awesome as well. Guys, I can't play all of you, but I can tell you this much. Next episode, which is going to be Tuesday at 4 p.m. GMT, it's like half an hour ago on Tuesday. Next Tuesday, we're going to play more cool chess. So watch live for that, and then I can play then. I'm only going to play with Nablik. All the rest of you guys, you're cool, just not cool enough. And the reason I'm playing him is because he contacted me on the chat. He was like, dude, I love you. Your eyes are beautiful. Actually, that was somebody else. And so I want to reward him for that confusion, bit of confusion there. So Nablith, you are the final opponent, and I am thrilled to be playing you. Let's put the rules in here as well, although I'm sure he knows them because he's got a brain like a cantaloupe. Well, that's a compliment, by the way. It's Heavy brains are a good thing. Like, I mean, if his brain were actually a cantaloupe, that, that maybe that's not good. I guess I don't know. I've never seen anyone, if anyone's brain's a cantaloupe or not. Could be good, but but the idea is like it's large, right? I mean, have you ever seen anyone where it's like, I think his brain is a cantaloupe because it's sticking out the front and the ears are pushed out? That is a sign of intelligence. When I see people whose ears are pushed out like this, but by the way, mine are, which is why I hide them behind this machine. And when they come out like this, it's like, whoa, that brain is pushing its way out. He's going to give birth to a brain. And then he says something and, and it comes through his nose like this, hi guys. And you just realize instantly that he is so smart, right? That That is like an oblique. The only difference is I've never seen him. So... That's compliments. Definitely, definitely me trying to say good things about you. If I take this, you could take with knight, so that's no good. I want to double up those pawns. C5 would be normal in this variant. Propose a take back. That's a cheat because pawn can't take pawn. In this variant, pieces of the same type may not capture each other, so who knows what C5 is for now? I mean, it just sits there. Like, like, it really just sits there. Like, it distracts you constantly. You're like, oh, should I take that? Oh, no, I can't. And then the next move. Hmm. Oh, I could take. Oh, no, I can't. Two moves later. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, no. Very stressful. So I could play e5 here. <laughs> Let's do that. Why not take all the spaces? And then e4. And then c4. He can't capture me. I would as well dominate. I'm going to have to decline your challenges, guys. Franco, decline. Achille Rao. I really want to play you guys, but the show's coming to an end. So next episode, Tuesday, we're going to play crazy bishops, idiot bishop chess, which is fun. It's not a variant. It's just where you do idiot things with your bishop. So it's pretty much just chess with TV. And then the next episode after that is going to be another cool variant a week from today. Really cool. So cool. I'm not even telling you what it is because I forgot. Let's go find out while we're waiting for the opponent. So this is my website, chessboos.tv. You can see it in the corner down there. You see the address? You can browse there. And on the website is what's coming up next. I think I'll just defend that this way. And so you come in here and you're like, oh, idiot bishop. We talked about that. This website's so great because it's chopped up now. There's like a chessboard in the middle. Yeah, um, I should probably change the view to this view. There we go. So this shows you what's coming next, and it is going to be guard chess behind the microphone. Well, if I hide myself, you can really see this. So a week from today, guard chess. We will play a chess variant where a guarded piece cannot be captured. You are not going to want to miss that variant because if you get your queen just on top of his king, right, and then you're guarding it with the bishop. Like imagine you're like queen d3, bishop c2, and then you're just like queen takes h7. It does not matter if that's guarded. It sure does. It does not matter if that's attacked by a monstrous quantity of pieces. You win. Assuming his king is in the vicinity. I guess if he kills the queen side, maybe you don't win just yet. But you pretty much win a moral victory because your bishop is guarding that queen, so it cannot be captured. So I'm really excited to play that variant and play that move and checkmate my opponent in that manner. It's going to be pretty fun. This looks fine. Um, just keep developing my pieces here. It's going to be great. Don't miss it next week. This is a free knight. Because queen can't take queen. I'm being told that I cheated. When did I cheat? Oh, knight takes knight. Oh, I cheated. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, I feel terrible. Oh, all that fuzziness is gone. Now I'm left with an empty dread that someday... <clears throat> After I'm dead, I will come to my final judgment, and I'll be told, Knight takes e5 is not forgiven. 
It's going to be terrible. I'm more sorry about nine takes e5 than any other personal sin. Oop, that wasn't very smart. Now he's got a great square. I don't like that at all. I got to get that out of there. I'll just put my bishop here to do it. Get rid of that knight. Okay. Now what? Right? Opposite color bishops. Chess was cheated. What happens? Queen can't take queen. My bishop can come in like this. I feel like this is not drawish at all because there's some ways to slice into his position here. Should I take this or should I just move in here? This move is exciting. This move, it just boringly wins stuff. <clears throat> I'll go with boringly wins stuff. I'm a pretty boring person. Let's do this. And let's do this. I like getting pinned. Okay, maybe this wasn't the smartest. But it was the dumbest. I like to be extreme. Chess whiz, that wasn't very smart. I mean, like, you're 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 doing this show and people are watching you. One of the reasons people watch Chess Whiz TV is in order to learn about chess. Like, okay, so if I watch Chess Whiz TV, I'll get two things done. First of all, I can laugh at this idiot. And secondly, maybe I can learn about chess and then I'll become a better chess player. So this is a very educational situation for you. When a pawn is moving like this, you should say, why did he do that? Is he going to trap my bishop? Now you've learned. Basically, the way I teach people is by doing bad things and then saying later, uh, don't do that or that. It's a pretty good way to teach people. So yes, it is the end of the episode, but I do want to tell you also, besides all the things I've told you, that you could subscribe to the YouTube channel. Just click the button over there that says subscribe, and then you get notifications when new videos come up, which is great because not everyone doesn't have an email box spammed by Chess with TV yet. But if you do that, you could be one of the people spammed. That's great. Also, if you're watching live, follow the Twitch. I stream on Twitch live. So a lot of the viewers are watching live right now, talking in the chat, saying, Chess was you're such a cheater. In fact, I cheated recently again. Look at this. This was cheat right here. Cheat. Chess with you're awful. You're a terrible person. I, I cheat on purpose, actually. It's just so that you'll feel better about yourself. Because you're like, I never cheated this episode. It's because you never played, man. You would have. Um, but yeah, follow on Twitch, then you can get more spam. This is great. Spam is great. Do it. Yeah, it's pretty great. This has been Chess with TV. Thanks for watching.